I want to start by saying I really didn't want to have to do this video. Slava Voinov. Oh boy. Stay with me, don't, don't tune away, because we're going to be running through everything here. Um, and every other video will be all nice and fun, because that's what hockey's meant to be, it's meant to be fun! This isn't fun for anyone. To get to the start, we have to, well, funnily enough, get to the start of the story. In 2013, Vonoff signs a six-year deal with the LA Kings, as really established himself as a top four defender. On October the 20th, he was then suspended indefinitely by the NHL, pending an investigation. The investigation was for alleged abuse on his partner. Now the NHL does, does now the NHL doesn't have any rules when it comes to domestic violence on automatic suspensions or whether it means you can ever come back to the league. And back then, I know it sounds bad, but many other leagues didn't either. You had that Rice guy from the NFL. I think I think his name was Rice that did the thing. Um, and that sort of made a few leagues sort of lift their eyebrows and be like, oh boy, we better get something in writing about this. And gone are the days where we just sweep it underneath the rug. Cough hole. November 20th, we get a lot more details and it's that he's been charged with uh, assault pretty much uh, with great injury on his partner. One felony, which could have led to a nine year jail term uh, for Voinov if he was deemed to be guilty. So that's the level that we're dealing with here, nine years. Like, it's it's not a slap in the wrist. It's not like Austin Watson, which still is a horrible act that he did and what a garbage human being he is. But this is much, much worse. One of the police officers during his testament said that he punched, kicked, choked, and threw his girlfriend through a flat screen TV. He was suspended indefinitely from the league after that point. Uh, he was ended up pleading guilty to a downgraded charge which gave him a 90 day jail term and a three year good behavior of which he spent the three years in the KHL. So we're all on the same page at this point. Garbage human being, like sh what a piece of shit, pretty much. We now fast forward. <laughs> And well, Voinov made it apparent and his agent that he wanted to come back. And the NHL haven't updated their rules, or I guess, about this sort of thing yet. So, it's up to Batman to decide whether he's allowed to play or not. Now we go to now, he has done his Achilles, so we are given a month reprieve from dealing with this because the NHL has pretty much got the point of, if we ignore it, it may go away. And this is a chance to make a statement. And this is where I get to my personal opinion. I know I'm a white male and I don't really have a, a leg in this race, I guess, when it comes to domestic abuse, except for, you know, not doing it myself. But holy crap, what a piece of shit is this person. And I don't say those words lightly. I'm quite a, if you watch the other videos, I'm a quite a funny, go happy, lucky guy that just pokes fun at the most random things. This is disgusting that this is even being entertained that he might be back in the league. Even if he's not, which I'm hoping he won't be. If he, if Batman gives it the okay, a team will pick him up. That's a guarantee. That's, that's like 100%. But here's a chance for the NHL with all the controversies they've had with various alumni doing this and it just being swept under the rug. You've got the Austin Watson issue at the moment. You've got the White House, that whole thing. Will they stand for the end? You've got so many controversies that really the league just kind of ignores and just goes along with and just tries to make it as little of a deal as possible because they don't want that in the media. Here's a good story. It's tell him he can't play outright. Just tell him he can't play. You're not welcome in the NHL. What you did is beyond repair. And I'm not saying people that do the wrong thing shouldn't be able to come back in the league. I'm a strong believer in that. But I think there's a certain point where we go, no, that's, no, we don't want that. We don't want that. This isn't like a bar altercation where two guys had a little bit too much to drink and had it out and then spending the night in the drunk tank. Yeah, I mean, that's probably warranted of a small suspension. Probably not a massive deal in the hindsight. They can get their life together, maybe, you know, go sober for a while. Those sort of things. It's something that spirals out of control in the heat of a moment. This is beyond that. What else can happen? Well, Batman can say yes and a team will pick him up. Um, there is another thing that no one's talked about. Teams can come out now and say, we will not sign him. 
That puts pressure on the league. That puts pressure on the other teams to say no. No, sir, we will not be having your services. Enjoy Russia. And I think that's what teams should do. I know the league. I know Batman. I know the teams. They don't. They, they won't. They won't do this. This is up for Batman. Batman needs to make this decision. But it'd be nice if a few teams and GMs sort of came out or ownership groups and said, you know what? No, we're not going to have this garbage human being on our team. So, it's another month of limbo. Um, yeah. Now, usually I have a lovely sign out where I tell you to do a whole bunch of things. Uh, I'm obviously not going to do that. It's not the tone of this video. Um, if you do have a thought, put it in the comments down below. As long as it's a mature thought, let's, let's keep it above brow. Let's, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, next video will be much happier, I promise. So that's something. That's something. There'll be puns in it. I'll, I'll try and make puns, so that's good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you, and... Bye.